Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, uh, I'm doing another one of those VR 360 degrees videos, but this one's Five Nights at Freddy's. So let's check this out. Turn this up. Okay, whoa. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Fazbear Entertainment is excited to join the digital age, and what better way to do that than with an edge of your seat virtual reality experience? Uh, what's better than that? Uh, it's something. I don't know. A big three. We know that Fazbear Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. And while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back and enjoy a few scares. Yay, scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you play. It's mostly just legal mumbo jumbo and isn't at all based on user experiences thus far or injuries associated with testing. Just touch the button to agree and then we can jump right into some harmless fun that can't harm you at all in any harmful way. Thank you for playing the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. If this is a cursed video, I swear. You acknowledge that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real-world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweats. Oh, you're gonna be that way, huh? Yes, how's it going? Oh. Hello? Oh, hello? Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled down your first time. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, I'm not but I can tell you there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Okay, uh, let's, let's see. do that. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. So, hey. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. A magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises Jeff. have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, Stop blah. Now, light, now man. it might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and you need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. No. So just be aware, the you characters this whole tend building. to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Something about their servos locking up and being turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. And it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, yeah. the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, yeah, that's Now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic 
devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcibly pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort oh, and don't, death. Yeah, yeah, no duh. The only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth and pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day stay breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely YouTube. necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Good night. Hope you sleep well. I for sure, for sure I won't, because I sent it. Dude, shut the freaking door. Leave it shut. Stupid. For sure gonna get popped out. That's why this video is so short. Freaking Bonnie's gonna bunny kick you in the nose. See, he's looking at you like. Shut the freaking door! You're gonna lose all the. Digitally dum 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 dum. Oh boy! I've been told to overreact a little bit. Oh my goodness! Yell in the microphone, you know, it's like that. Great, look what you did, you stupid idiot. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my, goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, that wasn't as scary as I thought it'd be. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Like what they're saying. Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Thank you for watching.